One of the necessary components of belief is to believe in the last day. And believing in the last day can occur at two levels. Number one, holistically, meaning in general, you affirm that there's a last day and there's a judgment and there's paradise and the hellfire, right? Holistically and generally. And then your preparation to accept whatever Allah and His Messenger, this is level two, have said about the last day. When a person journeys throughout the Qur'an, you can hardly find a page in the Qur'an without a mention of the last day and the details about it. Allah the Most High, He alludes to the last day with a great deal of names. And this is of its greatness because every single one of the names refers to a certain aspect about that day. For example, of its names is Al-Qiyamah. Qama means to stand. Al-Qiyamah means the day of standing. He will be standing on that day for a length of 50,000 years, as the ayah in Surah Al-Ma'arij mentions. Also of its names is Al-Haqqah, which means the ultimate reality. Al-Haqq is the truth. Al-Haqqah is the ultimate reality. What absolutely will happen, and you must be positive about, more than you're sure of what you see with your own two eyes. And of its names, Al-Hashr. Hashara means to gather. So it is the gathering. Because on this day, the creation will be gathered in a manner that is mind-blowing. All of the humans from Adam السلام, to the very end. And the jinnah will be present. And وَإِذَا الْوُحُوشُ حُشِرَتْ Allah says, so the taqweer, the day that even the beasts will be gathered. The first of them and the last of the animals. So of its names is Al-Hashr. And this gives us another uh, light uh, of what this day will be like. And of its names is Al-Ba'ath. Ba'atha means to send forward. So Al-Ba'ath is referred to as the resurrection, that which they are sent forward from their graves, when they are resurrected and pulled out of the dirt. And of the, its names is Al-Waqi'ah. Waqi'ah means it already came to pass, right? It already took place. So Al-Waqi'ah means the inevitable event, meaning the one that absolutely has to happen and can't be avoided. It's true, and it's also true that you're not going to be an exception. You're going to be there too. And throughout the Qur'an, one finds that belief in the Day of Judgment is paired up many times, like twins, with belief in Allah. Allah says many times, this is a reminder for those who believe in Allah and the Day of Judgment. Why? Because believing in the Day of Judgment, in reality, is a logical continuum of believing in Allah. How can you believe that Allah is perfect and just, right? And fair and merciful and able if the Day of Judgment is not going to happen? Allah the Most High, He says, أَفَحَسِبْتُمْ أَنَّمَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ عَبَثًا وَأَنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَا لَا تُرْجَعُونَ Do you assume, this is the end of Surah Al-Mu'minun, do you assume that we created you in play? The whole construction of this is just some joke and that you will not be returned to us? فَتَعَالَ اللَّهُ الْمَلِكُ الْحَقِّ Exalted is Allah the true King. Meaning what? Allah is far more exalted over doing something so foolish. Just creating you as a joke. لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوْ None is worthy of worship. رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْكَرِيمِ He is the owner of the great throne. The owner of the great throne is going to do something like that. This is the meaning. 
This is why when Al As ibn Wa'il al Sahmi, he came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and he took bones. He's a disbeliever in Mecca. He took them and he threw them in the face of the Prophet. And he said, Muhammad, you claim that your Lord will resurrect these bones and return them to the, how they first were, bring this back to life. So Allah the Most High sent down the verse in Surah Yaseen. And he said, وَضَرَبَ لَنَا مَثَلًا وَنَسِيَ خَلْقَهُ قَالَ مَنْ يُحْيِي الْعِظَامَ وَهِيَ رَمِيمٌ This disbeliever, he struck an example for us. Like he's trying to make Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam understand, as if, right? He's telling him, look, you think this is possible? Think, Muhammad. He's saying he struck an example for us and he forgot about himself. When he said, who will give life to the bones after they've crumbled? Allah replies in the next verse and says, قُلْ يُحْيِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ خَلْقٍ عَلِيمٍ Say, it will be given life to by the one that created it the first time. And he has knowledge of his creation. Meaning, why are you using the example of this is dead, it's going to come back to life while well, you forgot about yourself? You were dead too. And Allah brought you to life. So we say that the last day has a direct connection, believing in it with believing in Allah. And that ultimate justice must be established. Wherein not an atom's weight of unfairness, inequity will occur. Even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لَتُؤَدُّنَّ الْحُقُوقَ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهَا You will surely deliver everyone's right to their rightful owners on the Day of Judgment. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَيَوْمَ يُنْ وَيَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ فَفَزِعَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَا شَاءَ اللَّهِ When the trumpet is blown, whatever is in the heavens and earth will be destroyed. Listen, listen to the descriptions of the Dhul Arsh Al-Majid. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّ زَلْزَلَةَ السَّاعَةِ شَيْءٌ عَظِيمٌ Oh, humankind. Be mindful of Allah. إِنَّ زَلْزَلَةَ السَّاعَةِ شَيْءٌ عَظِيمٌ For verily the tremor, the shaking, the vibration, the quake of that hour is a big thing. يَوْمَ تَرَوْنَهَا تَزْهَلُ كُلُّ مُرْضِعَةٍ عَمَّا أَرْضَعَتْ وَتَضَعُ كُلُّ ذَاتِ حَمْلٍ حَمْلَهَا وَتَرَى النَّاسِ سُكَارًا وَمَا هُمْ بِسُكَارًا وَلَكِنَّ عَذَابَ اللَّهِ شَدِيدٌ When the earth starts to shake, جل جلال الملك قال سبحانه فإذا نفخ في الصور نفخة واحدة when the first trumpet is blown وحملت الأرض والجبال فدكت دكة واحدة فيومئذ وقعت الواقعة when the earth you know like an explosion happens you see the land rise a little bit as it responds to the vibration the earth rises and then Allah Rabbul Izzah says not just the flat earth, the mountains rise and they are shaken one shake. And this is happening on earth, imagine the calamity. And mountains, the gigant will fly around like pieces of scattered wool. And you look up, قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ إِذَا السَّمَاءُ انشقت, The heavens are starting to tear. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَطَرَتْ When the heavens go, the colors go all crazy. Like when, when silver is melting or when oil falls in water. And then قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ فَكَانَتْ أَبْوَابَ It falls like pieces of doors. And you look at the sun. إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ When the sun has gone dark. When the sun is wrapped up. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَإِذَا النُّجُومُ كَدِرَتْ And when the stars lose their shine, when the stars start to fly around, everything in the heavens and earth is coming in utter ruin. And you look at the oceans. وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ فُجِّرَتْ And the oceans erupt. And then وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ سُجِّرَتْ and when the oceans explode, as in the waves will burst and then it will be on fire, like it will be an explosion, an ignition. And you don't need to be a rocket scientist. Water is made of H2O and there's oxygen and hydrogen. If they get separated, both flammable and explosive. So this is what happens. The creation changes, the mountains fly about. The earth is destroyed, buildings come crumbling down. 
Everything that you know is in utter ruin and it's the most catastrophic day in the existence of creation. So whoever's left of the creation in the heavens above and the earth below, everyone will be killed. And they narrate the story where in the creation nothing is left. And the verse says, Illa ma sha Allah, except for what Allah wishes. As in there are people, their existence that are still alive. So they say this refers to the four grand angels, as in Jibreel, Mikael, Israfil, and Malakul Maut, and the Hamalatul Arsh, those that carry the throne of the Dhul Arsh al Majid. So Allah Rabbul Izza says, let Jibreel die, so Malakul Maut takes his ruh. And then Allah Rabbul Izza says, Man baqa, man baqiya min al khala'iqi ya Malakul Maut. Who is left from the creations, O Malakul Maut? So he says, No one except for Mikael, Israfil, Hamalatul Arsh, wa ana Abdul Dalil bayna yadayk, and I, your humble servant. Very interesting video. On, um, I have to agree that I've noticed that when I'm reacting to stuff, like he said in the beginning, there is always something about the last day being mentioned, judgment being mentioned, which I thought was quite strange. That's why I always say my reactions that um, it's like we're being reminded that we already know what's going to happen and um, it's up to us to take it serious or not. Also, I wanted to ask, are there people that don't believe that the world is going to end one day? And another thing is, I noticed that there is um, a scene from t the movie 2012. Also, like I said, very, very interesting video. Let me get on let me get started with the second part of the video <laughs> 